Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through testing in a multi-platform environment guys. So the first thing that you should understand is what is this multi-platform? So basically assume that you are want to create a software application guys. Okay, so what will be your first thing guys? So you will be building the application, but there is one requirement, right? So do you want to fulfill all the wind, all the operating systems? Like, should your application run on Windows? Should your application run on Mac? Should your run? Should your application run on Android? Should your application run on Linux? Like that. So there are multiple operating systems, right? So do you plan to release them in each and every one? So that is a thing, right? So basically, whenever you are creating something, you always want to release in various platform platforms so that it will be uh, it will be more useful to each and every one, right? Yes. So that concept is a nothing but multi-platform environment so before releasing in multiple platforms the first thing what you should do guys so assume that you created your application in windows so now you need to check whether your windows application is working in linux or not first of all that is the main thing right so that concept is nothing but the testing in multi-platform environment so this is the workbench diagram for this guys okay we'll be going through it don't worry okay so basically before even going into the testing okay so you need to cross check whether your application is done process of, uh, whether your application is following the v shaped process guys that is nothing but we discussed about 11 steps right so i think that pdf that printout is here only just give me a second okay so we discussed about this 11 steps right 11 steps diagram yes so it the first of all your application should follow that diagram guys then only you can think of testing it on multiple platforms so please remember that okay yes so let us now go through the workbench okay so here you will be including the platforms and software so basically your input will be the software and the main output will be your test report okay so here we are having multiple tasks so in to be clear there are totally six tasks guys. so let me zoom in okay yes so now they are uh, clear right a bit clear right yes so these are all the six tasks you can say guys so task one is nothing but to define a platform configuration concerns so basically on which platform you want to test so those are names of those configurations will be given here okay similarly task two is to list needed platform configurations so basically are there any required configurations for that particular operating system you will be uh, specifying them similarly access a test room configuration so basically whoever can access the test rules and everything so those will be mentioned similarly list structural component affected by the platform so basically are there any components which look different or which do task different based on the platform so if there are any you will be specifying them similarly the fifth task is to list interface interfaces the platform effects okay so if there are any effects you will be specifying them at the end you will execute the test so basically if everything is perfect once you check the adequacy you will be getting it as a positive then you will be getting your test report else you will be redoing the same process again and again okay yes okay so now let us go through some points there are totally four different points guys so the first one is input okay so then we will be going through those six steps that is nothing but to do procedure we give that side heading okay so once a do procedure is done then the third step is a check procedure so basically did you do the procedure in a proper way that we will be doing so at the end you will be discussing about the output so these are all the four topics which will be discussing in this lecture guys okay yes so let us start so basically what is the first thing that is input right so what input will you be giving guys so the input for the test in a multi-platform environment are as follows so the first two inputs we are having so the first input is a list of platforms on which the software must execute so if you are planning to execute or to publish your software in multiple platforms so firstly you should id you should have idea on which platforms you want to publish right so like a windows mac and ios so in this way so you should list them first of all and the second thing is nothing but the software packages to be tested is input input the test process the software must be validated that is processing the functions correctly prior to the platform testing so basically even before thinking of the platform multi-platform testing like in multi another oss first of all check your project or check your software whether it is working properly in your in your operating system or not because if it is not working in your operating system how can it work on other platforms so that is the reason why you should check your packages and everything you should test it properly first okay yes so now let us go through these seven steps guys so the first step is define a platform configurations okay so here i told you right so you'll be listing them 
okay so develop a list of potential concerns about the environments and determine their validations so if there are any error so you will be mentioning them here itself guys so in mac you got this uh, clickable error so basically that component is not there in mac version so in that way if there are any errors you will be specifying them guys and you will be listing them all okay yes so i can just to go through the theory guys i'll be just giving you an overview okay so that uh, the diagram will look in this way guys. so we'll be drawing some tables to represent guys so those pages will be calling as work page one so the it is part one guys so here you will be having the multiple test concerns so you will be writing the concern so basically what is the problem and what is the recommended test to address the concern so how you can solve it and how you found it so what testing you did and how you found it so these things you'll be mentioning guys please go through the theoretical part guys it is around uh, three slides you can just go through it okay because in examination you need to write some theoretical introduction right so that's the reason why please go through it and the second task is to list a needed platform configuration so whenever you are doing anything you need some configurations right so you need it to be 32 bit it should accept your data requirement it should store your database files like that you will be having some inputs the need of platform are either those that will be advertised as accept so basically you can just go through the theory okay so those are things so what are your requirements you will be mentioning so again here we are having a table so need of test platform available test platform whether it is acceptable or not okay so you'll be filling the table and you'll be using it okay similarly the next task is nothing but access test room configuration okay so the test needed to be determined whether the platform available in the test room are acceptable for test this involves the following two steps for each needed platform document the platform to be tested so basically for each and every platform so assume that you are doing mac testing and your friend is doing for windows so both of you will maintain a document and you will be updating your status as so each and every test you do okay so make a determine determination as to whether the availability platform is acceptable for testing if the platform is not acceptable note any actions to be taken so basically if the platform is okay it is working fine all the functionalities are working fine it is okay if it is not working fine what actions you should take what code changes you should do so everything you will be noting down here so it is nothing but the room testing okay and the next fourth task is nothing but a list of structural components affected by the platforms so basically whenever we are coding and if you want to run your application on different operating system the major things will be with respect to the memory slots and as well as with some representations guys so basically whenever you are you viewing an application in windows you will be having some representation of the structure and everything right so the same structure if you open it in mac it will be different so these kind of things will not affect but if they are affecting so you will be listing them out here okay so these are some examples which are given just to go through them guys okay so the paper will look in this way for this topic Okay, so we'll be writing them and validation structure you'll be writing them. Okay, and the fifth task is nothing but a list interf interfaces of the platform effects. So basically, what are the interfaces which are affecting them? Like any kind of failures or any kind of faults which are leading to failures. So these are things you'll be defining them and again, you'll be updating in the paper, guys. Okay, and at the end, you will execute the test and you'll be finally, you'll be checking whether it's working properly or not. And here again, you'll be checking for the uh, 11 steps we discussed, right? So you'll be checking, you'll be checking them. Okay, yes. So once everything is done, you'll be going through the check procedure. So you'll be saying that whether it is perfect or not perfect or there is no result. So you'll be using yes or no and NA to represent them. Okay. So using them, you'll answer these questions guys. Okay. Yes. So is the is the application working fine or not? Is the configuration good or not like that? Yes or no and comment. So basically you'll be filling these tables. Okay. Yes. And finally, you'll be deciding whether the application can run on that platform or not so you'll be deciding whether it's good for or not so basically in examination you can write sorry in examination please make sure that you are writing most of the concepts guys because i don't think so you can write each and every table and all those things right so that is the reason why make sure you at least draw the flow diagram that is nothing but workbench diagram okay so once workbench diagram is drawn you just give some introduction about each and everything and if you remember the tables you just draw some sample tables rough tables guys in simple words okay yes because it's always better to draw something right yes so I hope everyone got some basic idea about it, right? Yes. So in the next lecture, we'll be continuing with the test software security systems, guys. Okay. We'll be back to papers. Don't worry. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.